Hi. Uh, now we are going to see the uh, plunge rough tool part. Uh, plunge uh, surface rough tool part. So this is the last uh, tool part which is given in the roughing tool part. Uh, plunge tool part. So this tool part uh, uh, people very lessly using this tool part. Uh, so in India uh, uh, we we uh, we never use this kind of uh, uh, tool part. And the reason behind is the the load on the cutter and the load on the machine will be more in this uh, tool part. So ultimately, it will uh, reduce uh, the life of the uh, machine. So you can take. Uh, uh, if the tool is directly plunging on the material, uh, we can say that this is a scooping. So, uh, so by scooping, a uh, 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 lot of uh, material you are going to remove and uh, uh, continuously you are plunging directly on the material. So. Uh, the load on the uh, cutter and load on the spindle is more and it will reduce the uh, machine life. Huh? So that's the reason it is very rarely used here. Uh, so, so whenever I think of a machine uh, long life, uh, then uh, you don't go or uh, don't use this tool part for machining. Uh, but uh, you think that you want to uh, utilize uh, this machine full extent uh, and uh, you are not worried about the life of the machine then definitely you can use this tool part. So the advantage is very fastly it will remove the material huge amount of uh, stock you can uh, remove by uh, scooping. Okay. So I uh, will select tool part uh, stock I will say circular stock I mm, will say bonding box. Okay, now uh, if you want to little uh, modification, you can do it. So I round off to 160. Uh, uh, height I make it 80. Okay, okay. So Tool part, rough, plunge tool part. I'll select the dry surface. Okay. Uh, boundary, I'll select the uh, outer boundary. Oh, sorry. Uh, one more thing also necessary here top and the bottom. Uh, bottom uh, points it will ask. Uh, so for that reason, upper corner, lower corner it will ask for uh, generating tool part. So I will make one bounding box also to, to, to specify the upper and lower corner of the stock. Okay. So I will just modify the height. Uh, okay. So now again uh, we will go for uh, tool part. Uh, surface rough uh, plunge tool part. So dry surface, and uh, so you need to show the grid. That is, that is select the plunge point at the lowest left. Uh, I selected the lowest left point, uh, and select the plunge point upper right. So I have selected the upper height. Uh, so with this it will understand what is the height of the job. It will directly read from that uh, selection. Uh, uh, now the tool. Uh, here the tool is uh, like a slot and mill. Uh, it means that uh, there is no center uh, in the cutting, cutting point. And if you see in the normal tool, uh, there is uh, one center will be there for the grinding, uh, but uh, in this uh, tool part, in this uh, soft milling tool, 
the cutting edges are intersect with each other so uh, here uh, this tool is a special type of tool uh, this plunge tools are available in the market uh, okay this uh, uh, In this uh, tool, cutting edge uh, is uh, directly intersecting. So that's the reason uh, this tool you can use for the plunging application. And uh, plunging means are available in the market. Okay, you can um, for uh, scooping the huge material. Uh, it look like a slot mill. So there is no provision here to uh, select the that kind of tool. So uh, I select uh, it look like a drill, like kind of a drill now. So I can take a drilling tool here. Hmm. Internal. I will select the drilling tool. Uh, uh, it means that uh, it is having the intersecting edges. Okay. So instead of a slot mill, I am taking the uh, drill. Here, okay, uh, it's a kind of special tool. Okay, so I am selecting sixteen uh, tool. Uh, parameters we can give it here: uh, cutting uh, speed per tool and uh, cutting speed and plunge rate. All the things we can provide here. Uh, then we can. Uh, stock you can keep a uh, little more stock. So, so now I will keep the stock to new uh, and plunging method step down by keeping. Uh, maximum score uh, I'll keep uh, 50% okay so now it's uh, generating the uh, tool path now you can see here uh, uh, the tool path is uh, Generated. Okay, you can uh, simulate and see how uh, uh, this tool path is look like. Okay, you can run it now. Generally, in the first pass, uh, it never uh, this does uh, touch. Uh, next pass onwards, it will start the machine. Uh, because uh, um, not uh, uh, how the condition of the uh, surface at the top, we don't know. That's the reason the initial it is not cut, and second pass onwards, it start to cut. You can see, it's a kind of. Uh, uh, drilling uh, for the hook. Okay. So it depends of the upon uh, your machine. You can increase your depth uh, more and more if you want. Uh, so after this, uh, you can add whatever the finishing uh, tool path you want, either parallel, contour, or uh, Radial tool path, you can use it and finish this tool, tool path. Okay, so, so this is the uh, plunge rough tool path. Okay, and so here the tool and the tool matters, it's not the normal tool. Okay, so it's called the plunge tool. Uh, with this, uh, we have 
finish the all uh, roughing tool part so all the roughing tool part we will see uh, next class onwards we will go on the surface uh, finishing tool part thank you